Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you about the film Gentlemen Are Born, which was made in 1934 and directed by Alfred E. Green, and it stars, hold on a sec, see if I can get this name right, um, I can never get his name right, uh, Frenchot Tone, Jean Muir, Margaret Lindsay, Anne Borjak, Ross Alexander, Dick Ferran, Robert Light, and Henry O'Neill, um, of these, the ones that I was already familiar with are Franchot Tone, Jean Muir, I started watching some of her stuff very recently, um, but this is, I think, maybe the fourth film I've seen her in so far, um, and I've seen a couple things with Anne Borshak in them, I think. It's been a while. Um, anyway, the story starts... Um, at a college graduation and follows four friends in the years following their graduation. And something to keep in mind while you're watching this, and it's pretty obvious while you're watching it, it um, takes place during the Great Depression. Um, and 1934 is sort of the peak of the Depression. Um, I think it's it was in its fifth year at this point. Um, unemployment was at 21%. So, um, as you can imagine, um, a lot of the film is pretty bleak, considering the prospects that um, recent college graduates would have in that sort of environment. It um, hits a lot of the typical points that Depression-era films do um like spoiler alert um, there is a suicide linked to a business failure in this film um, not surprising again because of the time that this is set and made um yeah this was not a good movie to watch uh for someone who is a college student you know i'm sitting in my college dorm right now um the country is trying to crawl out of a recession. Um, unemployment right now, while nowhere near what it was in 1934, is still a little scary. So, you know, who knows what the future holds for me. So, <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is not the ideal thing to watch um, for me. Um other than that, there were some standout performances, um, not, surprisingly, not surprisingly, from uh, French Autone and Anne Vorjak. I don't know if it's because I know that they're the more successful ones of the bunch, and I've seen them in other movies, but their performances are very different from the ones of the rest of the cast. Like, I don't know if, I think maybe if I hadn't seen Tone or Vorjak and anything before, and like this was my first introduction to them, I think I would still think that they stood out. And I would probably think that they would have um, longer careers. Um, I think because their performances age a little better than the rest. Um, some of the rest of the cast is a little hammy. Um, and one last thing. Uh, fortunately, it didn't end on a completely bleak note, even though there were a lot of really depressing events. Like, it is, ugh, man. I thought it was going to end just, like, super sad. Because of all the stuff that kept happening. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> like, where is this going to go? But, um, you know, Hollywood, they, uh, they put a pretty bow on it at the end. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it was depressing. So that's all I got to say about that. And bye, guys.